welcome back. We are doing some Overwatch here to see if we can catch ourselves a little cheater over here. And if we do, then we'll feel proud of ourselves that we banned a cheater from the community. Or they had to go spend 15 more dollars, but you know, it's whatever. So, let's hop right into this. We got our first suspect here. I came and see his shit. Hello, game. Hello. Hello. Oh my lord. Please. I can't even press escape. I think it's still loading. I don't know. Oh. Oh. That shot. So if I'm thinking what these guys are reporting them for, I'm going to call this kind of early. Uh, maybe not wall hacks, but possible trigger bot. Yeah. Definitely not a wall hacker, but what we're going to be looking for is... We're going to be... Ooh, what the fuck? That guy, like, instantly sucks this guy. But okay. Anyways, what we're going to be looking for is pattern of, of the guns he's using. Like, whoa, what the fuck? Alright, well, that was weird. He, like, flicked really hard, but... Oh, no, that's really hard to flick. We're gonna be looking for a pattern, any kind of like aim assistance, like you know, locking onto the head. Some of them are smoother, some of them are hard. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that trigger butts, they do have a field of view. So if if they're like a foot away from their cross, not a foot, but you know, in game wise, I guess a foot away it might shoot. Or some people have it really low to where they have to be in the crosshair, otherwise it won't shoot. But we'll see here. Usually, uh, trigger bots do have patterns. So, find out if this guy's using it in a second. I'd like for him to get a kill here so I can see this. But, wall hacks, we can check that off the list. Now we're just looking for trigger bot and what? He's even making noise. Looks like he. You gonna check the other entrance, dude? No. Okay. Oh. Uh. All right. Well, I don't know why he wasn't even looking at the other entrance, but. I don't know. This looks like a MG game. Around there, MG to DMG. Not really, uh. Yeah. This is, uh. This is gonna be a tough Overwatch session since this guy's not, like, like running and gunning it, so I can't really tell if he's using Trigger Bot. Walls are checked off for right now. Definitely, like, I'd say 10% are leaning on to maybe yes, and 90% just no, because. It doesn't even look any close like to a wall. Sorry. Alright, clear that out. Uh, okay, that was a nice quick scope. Presser was in on that guy coming around the corner. The other guy had a fast reaction. I guess if you're slow peeking that, it's a bad idea because they can see you before you see them because your arms will stick out first. But. Alright, here's an AK now, so the fuck that looked like a silver like pull away right there from a flashbang. Fire the hole. control. Uh I think he might have an aim lock. That looks weird. Like his crosshair is like a foot away from their head, and it just pulls on to their head like instantly at the same time, like each time. Let's see. Okay. You might have a toggle button for uh, for it, and for you guys that don't know, it's like the hold a certain button, and I guess it'll like pull on to their head whenever you're holding that button, or same with the trigger bot. Uh, I really think this guy might be cheating. I mean, he doesn't seem like they have the skill, the skill set for the rank he's at. I think it's just 
mostly cheats keeping him up like the aim. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I think he might be, yeah. He might have an aim lock, like a really smooth aim lock onto the head because this is just weird aim, dude. Like, I don't know. What the fuck's up with the textures? I don't know. Check this guy coming up here at the stairs, source of garbage, sure. Garbage can. This should be a good... Yeah. He's, I think he's aim locking and trigger botting with it. Let's see. I guess Crosshair is not even close to their head and it just walks onto it when it starts shooting. This guy has a pretty smooth aim lock. Hey guys, keep in mind, like, aim locks and, and you know, trigger bots, they're like, they're not like those huge aim bots to where they'll snap, like a 180 snap or they'll do a spin or whatever it is that you're thinking. Aim locks and trigger bots, they can have field of views, and field of views basically means how close of, like, to the middle of the screen it is. So, like, there's a certain amount up to like a 360 field of view of on your screen. I think like 180 is just like the whole like whatever you're looking at in front of you, it'll lock on to, and however low you want to get till it's like a circle into the middle of your screen. So whenever something comes in contact with that circle, it'll automatically shoot. So some people stick it to the size of the crosshair, and it'll lock on, shoot whatever when it comes into contact to that circle. Now. Being that said, like, a lot of people don't know that, so, I don't know, the, the lower the FOV people say, the less noticeable it will look, because, you know, if you have it up really high and your bullet shoots off to the, like, you're aimed way off and you shoot right as he comes out, it's gonna be really weird, I don't know. Or your bullet hits someone, it's not even in your crosshair and you're standing still, that's going to look really weird. And same with the aim lock, to where if you have it really high and you're using it and say like two people run into that circle and it's going back and forth or it snaps onto one person, like you're going to instantly tell the right as they're cheating right there. So some people keep it really low. Those are what I call closet hackers. Closet hackers are the ones that try to make themselves look legit as possible with the cheats and they try to make themselves look really good. And to me, this is what this guy, I think he might be using an aim lock. His crosshair placement is really shitty. Like, he keeps it low at the ground, and he doesn't even lock it onto a corner. Yeah. But I really find closet hackers really scummy. Or like, like, they'll talk shit too. Like, that's a lot of closet hackers do. They'll talk shit. And then once they get banned, they blame it on, oh, my friend was using the account. Oh, uh, VAC detected the wrong thing. Yeah. I'm not sure about this, dude. Activating the bomb. Behind you, bro. Yep. You gotta, you gotta plant the bomb, dude. The timer. Yeah, that was uh, like that shot of it at the fucking thing. I I think he might have. A, I don't know. I actually know he has an aim lock. Like I can just tell by the way he's moving, playing. That this guy is definitely using an aim lock. A lot of people don't see it, but if you guys go and watch Shroud's Overwatches, he explains it just like kind of like how I am. Oh yeah, that is an aim lock. That right there just showed that I was right. If you guys saw the way. He first bursted onto that first guy, and then it automatically like pulled down to the second guy in that split like half second. Uh, but Shroud does a really great Overwatch sessions, and I watch him, and he explains how you can find like trigger bots, aim bots, just anything if guys wall hacking, just by just by the way he plays. And this guy is definitely aim locking, maybe not wall hacking, but the aim lock is there.
I hope you guys can learn something from these overwatches too. So when you're doing them, you know, you'll be able to tell. Aim assistance, definitely. That was just, towards the end, that gave me evident beyond a reasonable doubt because that was just too damn noticeable. Vision assistance, no, no, no other external assistance and griefing, no. Aim assistance, I hope you guys agree with this because just watch that over, you'll tell after a while that that was an aim lock. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next Overwatch session. Peace.